don't need a daughter-in-law who can't give birth to a boy. Don't come back. Goodbye. She drives the car and leaves without me. Kathy, wait! Don't go! I try to catch up with her, even though I'm pregnant, but I can't. Kathy, don't leave me! I shouted to my mother-in-law, but the car drove away without stopping. Oh no, what should I do? I brought my mother-in-law to this temple deep in the mountains, because she wanted to go here on this trip. Although it is a tourist spot, it is not a popular spot, and there are not many people there. Moreover, it was not far enough to walk back to the hotel. Then, my stomach started to. My name is Zoe. I'm a housewife. I got married three years ago, and we are expecting our first child, a girl. When I got married, I moved in with my husband Nick and my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, who had been kind to me at first, gradually began to show her true colors. My parents died early, and I was raised by my grandparents, so I don't know much about having a family. My mother-in-law always worked me hard, saying that I didn't understand the work of a wife. She complained and sarcastically told me that I didn't do my job well. Do the laundry! Hang the bedding out to dry! Do the shopping! Make dinner! Kathy, I can't do the housework all at once unless I take a break because my belly is getting too big. I say this in confusion while rubbing my belly, and my mother-in-law glares at me. Isn't it the wife's job to make this house comfortable? You have to make sure that Nick, who is doing the work for you, is comfortable. You don't know that at all because you don't have parents. I got a really bad daughter-in-law. I'm sorry. She treated me more like a housekeeper than a family member. The first thing she says is that I don't know how to take care of my family because I don't have parents and that I don't understand the role of a wife. And it got worse after I got pregnant. It's a girl? Are you kidding me? All we need is a boy. What's the point if there is no heir? You are useless. Nick should never have married you. My parents-in-law don't have a family business, so there is no need for an heir. Still, my mother-in-law was angry at me every time I opened my mouth, saying what's the point of getting a girl. My mother-in-law told the neighbors that I was a useless wife who couldn't conceive a boy. Why not a girl? She didn't even celebrate having a grandchild. I couldn't stand it any longer and complained to my husband Nick. But... What? Isn't mom right? It's your fault that you can't do housework and can't give birth to a boy. And besides, you don't have any parents, so you don't understand. My mother is strict with you out of love. Can't you understand that? She's being strict with me out of love. How is that love? Isn't that just bullying? My husband didn't take my side. Then one day, my mother-in-law suddenly announced that she was going on an overnight trip with all the relatives, and she was going to hold a birthday party for my grandmother-in-law there. My grandmother-in-law was my late father-in-law's mother. Now Lucy, my father-in-law's sister is taking care of her. My mother-in-law told me that my grandmother-in-law, my aunt-in-law and her husband, my husband's sister Ellen and her husband and us, a total of eight people from three families would be going. Zoe, you're going to have to make all the arrangements. Now? But grandmother's birthday is next month. It's tourist season and hotels are hard to come by. With less than a month to go before her birthday, there's no way I could arrange for this many people now. Don't say it's impossible. Just do it. It's your job as a wife, isn't it? You are a useless person who can't even do the housework, making excuses that you're pregnant. So at least be useful. She said that and made me take care of all the arrangements. 
Hey Nick, we can't arrange a hotel now. There's no hotel available anywhere on the internet. I want you to tell your mother it's impossible. I talk to my husband, but he scowls and clicks his tongue. Why me? You're the one who she asked to do this, so you should handle it. You are a stay at home wife. You're not busy, right? I'm busy with work. He's not even going to try and help me. You run away saying you're busy with work. You never had a birthday party for your grandmother before, did you? It's just harassment to make me do such a thing suddenly. As I expected, the hotels around the destination my mother in law specified were almost all booked up, and it was difficult to get a hotel reservation now. If we all stayed in different places, it would be possible to make hotel reservations. When I said this to my mother in law, she raised her eyes and yelled at me. It doesn't make sense for us to be separated. We are a family. We need to stay in the same hotel, right? Can't you understand that? Did you look for them properly? Maybe you're lazy and you can't get a reservation because you're not good at finding a hotel. I've already decided to do it, so you'd better do something about it. She wants to stay at the same hotel, but with separate rooms for the three families. I went home and complained to my grandparents. That's tough, isn't it? Can she see that it's already difficult now with such a large number of people? My grandfather scratched his chin in a thoughtful gesture. My grandfather, who is still working, knows how the world works. My mother in law knows what she's doing. She has already informed Nick's grandmother, aunt, and sister of the date, and we can't move our schedule anymore. I have to make hotel reservations no matter what it takes. I sigh loudly, and my grandfather offers to help me find a hotel. I'm glad he's willing to help me. My grandmother served me tea. I know it's hard to move when you're pregnant. If there is anything I can do, please let me know. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. I thanked my grandparents for their kindness. Oh, there's a chance that Nick's grandmother will be in the car, isn't there? You might want to install a dash camera in case of emergency. I nodded my head at his suggestion. Yes, that's right. We might need it. It's a tourist spot, and if we get hit or in case of an accident, we would feel safer with a dash cam. I bought one on the way back home and decided to install it in my car right away. With the help of my grandparents, I managed to make it to the day of the trip without any problems. Good morning, Zoe. Thank you for all the arrangements you made this time. It must have been hard work. Good morning, Ellen. With the help of my grandparents, we managed to get a hotel room. I was relieved. My sister in law, Ellen, was very kind and always took care of me. I'm sorry that I couldn't help you this time because I was busy with my work. I guess she was worried about me because of the sudden proposal. Then, my grandmother in law, my sister in law, and her husband, my mother in law, and I drove to a sightseeing spot in a neighboring town. It is a pity that Nick is not here. My husband had to work suddenly and is going to be late. So he will catch up with us in the evening. I like you. He's very busy. He has a lot of work to do, and he has to work even on his days off a lot. She's proud of her son, who is depended on for his job. It is true that he has been working on his days off for a long time, but now it is almost every week. I sigh in my heart, wishing he could take a day off from work at least for today. I heard that everyone is going to visit different sightseeing spots, and I will be alone with my mother in law until Nick arrives. I went to the hotel room with my mother in law to drop off my luggage, feeling depressed. Zoe, I want to see this temple here. Please take me there. She showed me a small temple deep in the mountains far from the hotel. It was built by a great man in the past and is a well known tourist spot. However, it seems to be a minor place that is not listed on any tourist map. 
There is nothing new there. Why would she want to go to such a place? I wondered. But my mother in law insisted on going there, so I started the car. We climbed up a winding mountain road and arrived at the deserted temple. There were no other tourists besides us. I wondered if this is really the place. Are you sure this is the right place, Kathy? It doesn't look like anyone's here. That's right. Soy, why don't you go upstairs and take a look? What? Me? I look up at the temple and frown a bit. There are dozens of long flights of stairs to get to the top of the temple. It's a long way up and a long way back. But my mother in law insisted that I go, and she didn't give up. I had no choice but to leave her in the car and slowly climb the stairs. I don't know what will happen to my baby if I miss a step. I had to be careful, and when I was halfway up, I saw a sign. This must be the right place. I turned around to tell my mother in law. My mother in law was sitting in the driver's seat and was starting the engine. What are you doing? I have a bad feeling about this and start to rush down the stairs. But I couldn't rush because I had to be careful not to fall down. My mother in law rolled down the driver's window and laughed. I don't need a daughter in law who can't give birth to a boy. Don't come back. Goodbye. My mother in law says, and the car leaves without me. Kathy, wait! Don't go! I try to catch up with her with my pregnant belly, but I can't. Kathy, don't leave me! I shout to my mother in law, but the car drives away without stopping. Oh no! What should I do? It's a tourist spot, but it's not a popular spot. So there are not many people around. Moreover, it was not an easy distance to walk back to the hotel. If I walk, someone might give me a ride. With such a faint hope, I decided to walk back to the hotel. However, there were almost no cars passing on such a mountain road. It was getting darker and darker, and I was getting harder and harder to keep walking. Oh no! I can't see my feet. At a loss, our car suddenly stopped. My eyes widened at the person who came out of the car. What are you doing here? Zoe, right? What are you doing in a place like this? The man who came out of the car was my cousin. Come to think of it, my cousin lives around here. I explained the situation to him as he takes me to the hotel in his car. My cousin was very surprised at what he heard. Thanks to my cousin, I arrived at the hotel safely. As soon as I got back to the room, my husband came to me with in a terrible mood. Zoe, you! You cheated on me! What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Don't play dumb with me. I just saw you get out of that guy's car. Mom said you went off on your own, and I was worried. And now you are cheating on me with him. You are a real scumbag, aren't you? I was stunned by that. I never cheated on you, and I didn't go anywhere by myself. Your mother left me. But my husband is too mad to listen to me. Then, my mother in law started to take advantage of my husband's anger. I can't believe you cheated on your husband while he was gone. Poor Nick. No more dinner for you. Then he called the front desk and cancelled my meal. Ignoring my objections that it was a misunderstanding, my mother in law and my husband went to have dinner. Oh my god, what the hell? I was so exhausted that I had neither the energy nor the will to go after them and get angry. I just lay down on the bed and fell asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night. I sneaked out of the room and headed for the hot spring. I frowned when I saw my mother in law there, even though it was late. My husband was sleeping, but I didn't see my mother in law. I had no idea she had come to take a bath. Oh, you came too! My mother in law came out with an annoyed look on her face. 
I guess she is leaving. I was relieved, so I washed myself and went to the hot spring. Just as I was about to put my feet in, someone pushed my back from behind with all their might. For a moment, I saw my mother-in-law leaving, smiling at me. I fall into the water with a loud noise. Zoe, are you okay? It was Ellen who pulled me up. Ellen had been outside, and on the way she heard a loud noise and found me. She went to the locker room with suspicion and called the front desk. I was worried about my tummy. The hotel called the doctor, but fortunately, I was not injured and my baby was fine. Thank God! But please rest easy, because I'm afraid there might be a sudden change. Thank you, Ellen. It's all thanks to Ellen's quick action. I saw Mom run away. She's such a witch. Ellen frowns. My mother-in-law and sister-in-law have always been at the odds with each other, and estranged. This time, because my grandmother-in-law, they had no choice but to get together. The baby was safe, but one wrong move could have been a disaster. It was unforgivable for her to go to such an extreme just because she didn't like the fact that I was pregnant with a girl. I felt the anger I had been suppressing welling up from the bottom of my stomach. I had been holding it in because we had become a family. But I've reached my limit. I can't forgive her for trying to hurt my child. Watch me. I will give her a big payback. I stayed in Ellen's room that day. The next day, we reserved a hotel room for the birthday party. Zoe is not feeling well and will not be here. Sorry. It's grandmother's birthday party and she's being a bad daughter-in-law. I will teach her a lesson later. It was when my mother-in-law apologized to my grandmother-in-law apologetically. I'm fine, I'm afraid. As I entered the room, my mother-in-law stood up in surprise. Oh, Zoe, you're not feeling well, are you? No, I'm not. You pushed me into the hot spring last night, but my baby and I are fine. She turned pale and started to panic. What are you talking about, Zoe? I will never do such a thing. My grandmother-in-law and auntie-in-law frowned at my mother-in-law's panicked reaction. What do you mean? Can you explain? At my grandmother-in-law prompting, I told her that my mother-in-law had pushed me into the hot spring last night, and I had fallen into the hot water. The doctor checked me out, and my baby was fine, but I could have been in serious trouble. I also told her that I was left deep in the mountains during the daytime. You just fell in the water by accident, didn't you? I didn't leave you either. I thought you were in the car. I gave her a cold look and told her she was making a lame excuse. You can't lie like that. I had a dash cam installed in that car before this trip. Everything you said and did was recorded. And the man who drove me to the hotel afterwards was my cousin, not my lover. You're lying. How could your cousin be there at such a convenient time? My husband yells at me, but I shake my head. Yes, he lives in this area. My grandparents own this hotel. My cousin is a manager here. My husband and mother-in-law were absolutely shocked. That's a lie? That's not possible! I'm not lying. I tried to find a hotel, but they were all full, so I asked my grandparents for help. They helped me out and made room for me. Yesterday, my cousin was on his way back to the hotel from a client when he found me in trouble because I was left behind. Then my sister-in-law, who had been keeping quiet, started talking. You're the one who cheated on her, Nick? What are you talking about all of a sudden, sis? My husband's face turned bright red. Yesterday, I was sightseeing and saw you walking arm in arm with a woman I didn't know. You said you were busy with work, but you were cheating, right? Oh, you can't just walk away. I have a dash gun in my car and you're on it. 
My husband turned pale. You said you were working. You lied. I don't want to hear it from you. Who left Zoe and pushed her and did terrible things to her? Then my grandmother-in-law saw this and got angry. That's enough. You're a disgrace. I'm not going to let you disgrace me like this. So I'm disowning you. When she declared that, my mother-in-law claps on the spot with a pale face. After this incident, my husband and mother-in-law were completely abandoned and isolated from the rest of the family. It seems that my mother-in-law had been trying to flatter my grandmother-in-law for her inheritance, but her declaration of separation made it all go away. After that, my husband and I divorced. I received alimony and child support in one lump sum. I also settled the matter of my mother-in-law pushing me without telling the police and received compensation. To be honest, it was a result of my feeling of not wanting to be involved in such a situation again. Just because you say that you are family does not mean that everything will be forgiven. We have to take care of each other. That's what being a family means. I learned a lot about how a family should be by watching my ex-mother-in-law and my ex-husband. My child that was born since then is growing up well. With my child, I rebuilt a family that loves and cares for each other.